happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today will be a review of the Zephyr wallet. And this is by Lavender and Twine. You all know if you saw my video on Wednesday, you would have seen the Moonwake handbag. And so you know I wanted to have a wallet, matching wallet to go with it. It's not part of the... Um, nine looks from my 2021 summer mood board uh but i always like to make a matching wallet if i can to go with um any new handbag that i make so that is exactly what i did and i am very pleased with it um welcome to all my new subscribers and thank you so much for tuning in today um stay tuned i believe wednesday i should have my remember i said i was going i needed more separates and bottoms and i was going to tackle the um mountain view jeans by itch to stitch that should be coming up that review and everything should be coming up on wednesday because then i'm thinking i wanted to wait until i had something on the bottom to where my tops with that I recently made. I wanted something else to kind of switch it up with so you can at least see a couple different ways outside of the ways I've already shown you that I style those garments. But the lookbook for the summer mood board is coming up. So make sure if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell so you do not miss that upload. So let's get into this review. And one of the other things I am going to do, the review will be very quick. After that, there was a question I've gotten through, I've seen some comments um, and there was a question about the stabilizers that I use. So I'm actually going to show you the difference between the ones and kind of, you know, my thoughts on them, but I'll do that right after the review. So let me just recap for you real quick. This is the um, Lavender and Twine Moon Wake um, made in the Mora. Um, faux leather and um, by the time you see my lookbook my um, you know I'm getting the strap ends to put on the back here I'll have those and so you'll see that in the final lookbook but also by lavender and twine is the Zephyr wallet and so here she is absolutely isn't she just cute okay so it's not a long review um, this here let me just uh, show it to you this is the wallet and if um you follow on instagram um you should uh have seen the pictures as well but anyway here is the wallet i absolutely love it let me give you the um dimensions on it it is eight and a half let me just hold it up eight and a half inches wide by five and a half inches high and one and a half inches deep as you can tell this here is a nice opening on the side um, of this wallet. And I'll show you that feature. It says it is a slick and unique design that elevates technique and provides a variety of options for color and print customization. It holds six to eight cards and I'll show you those. Um, it also holds cash, also holds coins, um, and you can hold your phone. And so I wanted to show you, let me just, let me just get my phone here. This is a um, Samsung 21G uh, something something 21 something. Anyway, that's the size of of my phone. And so um, when it says now when it says it has options and techniques, this is another pattern. Again, there is a complete sew along for this. Erica did another awesome job um in her so long the funny thing is if you remember in the moon wake i told you in her so long when she was adding duct tape to certain parts she didn't mention it but she did mention when, when she um attached the um put uh duct tape in here because there's a snap so it's behind um the backing of the snaps um but anyway so this you have um a couple different openings on here you have the front flap which i love the fabric that i have chosen is the um this is the moral faux leather so it goes perfectly with my um my handbag and then the side strips is the moral faux leather but 
You all notice what this is? This is the Harris Tweed, which also came from the Mor Morpho Leather and the Harris Tweed came from Emmeline Bags. And if you saw my previous video, you already know that I have a wholesale account with Emmeline Bags and I ordered a bunch, a bunch of stuff. And so this, the Harris Tweed, and I have a lot of this left over. And so what I'm thinking for sure, if you can tell, there's pink in here i want to do a handbag with some tweed and pink to make that pink pop um but and then this here um my lining fabric is from memories by the yard and i actually got that when i went shopping earlier this year 2021 in february for my birthday and sent it when we went to san antonio for the weekend and then we went um i went fabric shopping so yeah i had enough scraps left over of that because i used also um this on my um phoebe clutch which is by georgia girl stitches but i had enough so you have a pocket here so this is not where you would put the phone but you can put um quick things in here um whatever you like and so i will close that so you snap it close so behind the snap is where um you know you put stabilizer behind there and then um duct tape um and so yeah so that is the pocket in the front and then there's the top class all of my hardware oh let me just show you that all of my hardware again is gunmetal so if you remember on my moon wake all my hardware is gunmetal and i do have my tag Hopefully that zooms in and you see that. Um, so everything is um, gunmetal. You don't need a lot of hardware for this. You just need the snap. Um, if you have your label, um, your label, your bag label, or if you have a handmade, you know, the handmade bag labels that you can buy. And then um, the clasp bar. Um, this is a seven inch clasp bar. It is open on the end. So you do see kind of the raw edges in there there are clasps that sold where it's closed so you wouldn't see but i've never used them but i've seen reviews that is it makes it a little harder um you do have more room you know to play with a little bit more real estate to play with if this section say you need to put the bar over is just a little bit outside the bar which mine is i don't know if you can tell ever so slightly it's outside the bar but that but i did use um uh um what is this called fray check <laughs> all around here so it wouldn't fray um or anything like that um so you just open it up at the top and once you open it this, she opens all the way up. The only other piece of hardware you will need is a zipper. You only need, if you use um, zipper by the yard, you want to at least have, I would say to be comfortable, seven inches because by the time it's finished, it's five. And you can always cut off that excess in there. But that is the color. Hopefully you can see the zipper because it does blend in quite a bit with my interior um, fabric, my lining fabric. But yeah so here's the six pockets one two three four five six now when she say eight it's because you had the option of where was it it was another part where you could section it might have been it was another i forget what part of the so long where you can um, have more slots and, and she showed you that in the um, the sew along but here's the area so once you open it like this here's the area where your phone can fit and so let me see if I can see how that fits right in there and then it, it will close it closes up just fine you don't struggle with closing it or anything so if you wanted to carry this like a little clutch because you do have the option you can play with this and put um what are they called not d rings i forgot the technical term they're very small actually let me show it to you okay not sure if you can if you'll be able to see this i don't know what this thing is called i have and it's focusing on me but it's like this little see that and you you attach there's a hole on this end. That's what you would use to attach. You can um, uh, attach this to make this a crossbody and add a, a crossbody a strap if you want. And it has the little 
um, it looks like a rivet but yeah you can use that if you wanted to um, to add a, um, a strap and I'll put those in after I'm done um, so anyway so um, I'm I was fine with the six the and then behind the zipper is where you can put cash and of course you can put your coin right in here and then um yeah that is it that's the wallet it's just that simple it's not a lot of pockets um where you know you might have multiple pockets multiple um uh coin slots the only thing i did was i accidentally and it actually does not matter and wouldn't anybody know if you're a lefty it's probably perfect but i'm right-handed so i prefer my zipper to open up in the opposite direction so i have it opening up from um right to left instead of from right um from um right to left instead of from left to right um and so oh i wanted to show you my i did grab a couple of my cards just so you can see my cards fit perfectly in there in all of the slots. Again, you can barely tell because I know that I used all of the same um, fabric color. But there's the three slots at the top as well. And so let me just slide these in here. Again, the review was absolutely, uh, I'm sorry, the sew along. See there? So depending on how many... Uh, cards you have I don't have a ton of cards um, but if I needed to double up on any I could and so um, so yeah like uh, like my uh, Costco card Sam's Club card I usually double up on those and put those in the same slot um, but yeah it's a beautiful it really is a sleek wallet and her techniques are really unique i thought there was a couple sections in here where i was like oh yeah it really is very nice design um love the way it came together the so long is absolutely wonderful 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 so long so if you want it easy i think i don't think she labeled this as what level I did sew it up again on my genome HD 3000 depending on and I did use my walking foot um, depending on the materials you use if you use canvas in combination with a, a canvas is upholstery weight in combination with cotton you can I believe you can totally do it on your regular domestic sewing machine um, if you decide to do all leather in this now this is a faux leather very buttery told you already I love it um, a real leather I would say you need an industrial um, the faux leather was fine um, what I do I could do a full faux leather in this because it's so soft the more faux leather from Emmeline bags is really really nice it is so so nice and buttery soft and so yeah I absolutely love it I will be carrying this and this is actually going to be it was a perfect selection for me um to make the moon wake for my summer 21 mood board because these are going to transition into fall um with me i'm going to be carrying these a lot a ton a ton a ton that's just that's just how i roll <laughs> but uh for for these and then um but yeah, I think that's all I wanted to share. That is um, basically it. I highly recommend this pattern. I really do, as I did the Moon Wake. Both come with so long, so you have everything that you need. The class bar, um, all of my hardware I purchased from, well, the class bar I got as part of my um, big order I got from Emmeline Bags, but the zipper I already had in my stash, and of course, I already have my labels. Um, and then the um, interior lining, obviously, I've had that for a while. Um, but yeah, that is... Um, that's pretty much it. The um, While it came out, this pattern came out, I believe, in May of this year. So it is a fairly new pattern, but it is a great, great pattern. I highly, highly recommend it. Definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section below. So I am going to answer a question that I did receive from um, a subscriber. So let me grab that interfacing real quick. Okay, and I forgot to mention with the... Um, 
with the wallet pattern, you do get all of your pattern pieces. So you don't have to cut anything um, out for that, which is something I absolutely love. And so I did not say what I was wearing. I am wearing the um, Daphne top by Style So Me Patterns, which was lengthening to a dress. I made it earlier this year in February. It is a little baggy on me now. So I just wore it open over my Saybrook tank that was extended into a dress. So very uh, nice, super casual day. So let me just show you real quick. So on the Zephyr wallet, I use on the Tweed, um, actually any place that call for woven interfacing, I use the casting handcrafted so fuse. And so let me show you what that looks like because I, you've heard me talk about other types of stabilizer for handbags as well. And I had a question, very good question. Um, what do I think? Uh, do I feel the casting handcrafted so fuse is more stable than the um, woven fuse two by um, Barb's got in effect um, but what is it called Barb's bags got interfacing um, what do I think okay so let me just pull this out real quick I'm gonna pull out a couple I do not throw out any of my scraps for those who make handbags you know you know you don't throw out scraps Cause you don't go all the way to the seams um, for most things that you make um, anyway and so um, yeah you don't you don't throw out this stuff so I do have quite a few scraps but um, what I will say is I do yes this is the oops I wanted to show the drape this is the I love them both love them both um, the um, this is the um barb's got bags interfacing and this um you see how drapey that is and this is woven fuse two so this this is how drapey the woven fuse two from um barb's bags this is casting handcrafted so much more sturdy as you can tell more sturdy and so the difference if i if i would say oh which one do you think is more sturdy the woven fuse two or the um uh casting handcrafted so fuse this is just so fuse casting crafted has so fuse plus i'm not sure what weight that is i have not ordered that before i will um order that um but that is the difference and so um i use this on the back of my um uh the Harris tweed in both um for this and my Georgia Girl Stitches Phoebe clutch so as you can tell definitely more sturdy and um casting handcrafted is more convenient for me to order um because she's right here in Texas so very she's um I forget what part of Texas it might be Austin area but yeah so that is the difference kind of the weight difference between those two and so both very good both very good but if i i have quite a bit of both <laughs> let me just show you uh it's kind of rolled i still have it rolled up in the bag this is what i have left of the casting handcrafted and this is what I have of woven fuse too. I have a lot of this. I probably, cause when I ordered this, I think I ordered, it was the, um, cause you can order in bundles from Barb's bags. It was, uh, might've been 10 yards, may have been 10 yards. So that I have a lot of this. And I think this one was only two yards. And so this is all I have left, but I have a ton of the woven fuse too. But yes, I will definitely keep ordering from casting handcrafted for sure. And when it's available, when um, I want it, I'll, I'll get this. It really will depend on the fabric choice that you're using. Um, because the um, Mora Faux leather, I also use, and I'll show you this. This came from, um, um, Barb's bags got interfacing as well just so you know what it looks like I used on a couple of the pieces that called for um, Decaville light I have Decaville light that's this is what Decaville light looks like it is pretty stiff pretty stiff and this is awesome to put behind say you have faux leather straps or um, vinyl straps this makes it feel like straight leather gives it that real nice sturdiness so this is decaville light decaville heavy 
if you're from the United States and you go into Joanne Fabrics, you already know this comes on a roll. And this here um, stiffens up quite a bit. And that's at um, the Decaville Heavy is what you use in the final insertion. You don't fuse it. You just use it as a, um, I think it, you could use Decaville Heavy or Peltex. But um, I don't like using Peltex in handbags and wallets because it crinkles. This stuff is nice and smooth. Um, but this here is the Heavy, as you can tell it's very sturdy and this is <laughs> as you can tell the light and so um so yeah you would where it calls for pale text um perhaps use um maybe use this or this depending on the fabric choice that you're using and um if you follow mormino here on um youtube you know she has a video it's a few uh bag makers where all they do is make handbags and uh, many of them talk about the differences in different fabric weights that they would use these different materials on because it do makes it it, it does make a, a huge difference and so you definitely want to make sure you try to use the right stabilizer with the right um uh, fabric type that you're using for whatever it is your handbag or whatever and usually for handbags and stuff you do not put the stabilizer in the seam allowance is because it makes it extra bulky um even if you have an industrial machine um you definitely want to keep that stabilizer out of the seam allowance so yeah that is it i hope that answered question um that uh a, a subscriber had about the um different interfacings and stabilizers um that is what i have that is what i use and to answer the question yes the so fuse from casting handcraft it is more stable to me in my opinion than the woven fuse 2 from um barb's bags got interfacing both very good interfacings and so that is it everybody let me know what you think down in the comment section below i should have the um itch to stitch mountain view completed jeans to share with you um on wednesday um unless i can release one of these other videos <laughs> sorry about that my camera cut off i was trying to hurry up in the end there but anyway thank you everybody so much for tuning in today if you have any questions definitely leave them down in the comment section below and make sure that you stay tuned um for wednesday we'll see what video i'm hoping it's the mountain view itch to stitch jeans because i do desperately need them but um anyway everybody we will see you on Wednesday. Have a blessed, blessed week. Bye.